This video covers recommendations for installing Wilden air-operated double diaphragm pumps. Please be sure to review the cautions and warnings outlined in your pump's manual prior to installation or operation. Wilden pump manuals may be found on Wilden's website under Download Library. When the pump is received, inspect the box to ensure there's no visible transit damage. Prior to installation, prepare the pump by tightening all fasteners according to torque specification in the pump's manual and installing the muffler. Note that the muffler must be installed to reduce sound levels. Depending on the application, keep in mind that the pump should be installed in an accessible location to facilitate future maintenance. When possible, it's best to install the pump with the shortest pipe lengths and minimum number of pipe fittings. Piping should be no smaller than the connection size of the pump. When pumping liquids of higher viscosity, larger piping may be used to reduce pipe friction losses. It's recommended to use flexible hoses or flexible connections between the pump and rigid piping as it will assist in minimizing pump vibration. All piping should be supported independently of the pump. Piping should be reinforced, non-collapsible, and capable of high vacuum service. All pumps can pass solids. Use a strainer on the pump intake to ensure that the pump's rated solids capacity is not exceeded. Also, periodically inspect the strainer for clogs as this can rob performance and accelerate diaphragm wear. Pump Location a suction lift installation is when the pump is installed above the fluid line. Ensure that the dry suction lift capability of the pump exceeds the height difference. Note, be sure to take specific gravity of fluid into account. A flooded suction installation is when the pump is installed below the fluid line. Ensure there is a valve installed between the pump inlet and tank to protect the pump from inlet fluid pressure exceeding 10 PSIG. A submersible installation is when the pump is installed inside a tank or fluid. Ensure air exhaust is piped to atmosphere prior to a submerged installation. Every pump location should have an air line large enough to supply the volume of air necessary to achieve the desired pumping rate. Air should be dry and free from debris to prevent damaging the pump's air valve. For best results, the installation should use a 5 micron air filter, air valve, and pressure regulator. The air filter will ensure that potential pipeline contaminants will be eliminated. Do not exceed the pump's maximum operating pressure. In this example, it's 125 PSIG, or 8.6 bar. Note that some of Wilden's specialty pumps have a different maximum operating pressure. Be sure to refer to your pump's manual to take note of the maximum operating pressure. For applications where pulsation effect should be reduced, a surge dampener can be installed on the discharge side to help provide a smoother discharge flow. This function is critical in applications that need to minimize system vibration in order to protect and enhance the accuracy of downstream instrumentation. It also extends equipment life by reducing the load on the pump. Mounting feet can also be used to reduce vibration effects. Pressure gauges are recommended on the inlet or suction side of the pump and the outlet or discharge side of the pump to confirm pressure. Pressure gauges assist with any required troubleshooting and can be used to monitor the pump's performance. To further protect the pressure gauge, an isolation valve is recommended. For applications that handle flammable fluids and or whenever static electricity is a hazard, the pump as well as surrounding equipment must be properly grounded. To ground the pump, loosen the grounding screw and install a grounding wire. Tighten the grounding screw. Wire should be a 12-gauge wire or larger. Connect the other end of the wire to a true earth ground. Equipment must be grounded to achieve ATEX rating and it is recommended to configure the pump with the grounding lug option. Solenoid operation. 
for metering and dispensing applications. Some Wilden pumps can be configured with a solenoid pulse control that integrates the pump with external controls, such as an industrial PLC. This provides speed and flow rate control of the pump. When you're ready to start the pump, either for the first time or after service, Wilden recommends starting the pump slowly and letting the pump ease into the desired flow rate or performance. This reduces the load on the pump, extending the life of the equipment and components. It is also recommended to inspect and tighten the fasteners to the proper torque values every three months. A visual inspection should also be periodically performed until a service schedule is created. For more information on how to properly install your AODD pump, please visit the manual section of the download library on Wilden's website.